Greetings and salutations, I am Dragon Burrows and this is a politicized Nerdsville. Just recently I've heard that a political journalist known as Mr. Tommy Robinson has been thrown behind bars for 13 months. To me that is for what? Just reporting something that the mainstream has already reported on the very last day of a trial about these vile, de demented, less than human pieces of slime. It was the last day of the case there is no much information to be given out for the, for the exception of what has been released to the media. Anything in hand? This says it to do something nerdy or geeky, but yet it does. It it does, and from from where I stand, where from a lot of people who are supporters of female cosplaying to which I am an advocate for. I am a proud advocate of female empowering cosplay. I and hearing about the sex the sex traffickers and the sex and these uh, pedophile junkies having to do with that slimy, disgusting political ideology, I cannot call it a religion because such things are not kind and worthy I I for one I attend many a conference in my home state of New South Wales like Supernova back in the day it was Animania uh, Bit of Smash and Ice Comic Con and you're thinking, what does that have to do with Mr. Robinson being thrown behind bars for 13 months? I'm going to explain that to you. In a long way, not a short way, but a long way. The... With what he was saying about... He's found, he was like, this is the... Where the rape gangs... This is what... He's been saying like, for a long time. This is the rape gang... Uh, and it's an appalling... It's a, it's atrocious, it's abhorrent, it's not, it is barbaric and uncivilized. Which it, which it clearly is. With the funny thing, with, oh, I'm sure we've said the funny thing, but the most stupid thing is, it took so long for the UK government to do these things, to finally listen to the people and say they don't want these people in the in society boot them out of the country or imprison them for that for this very same system to go against Tommy and guessing the system of the UK judicial and all this other uh, less than Right at old chum attitude is that there are conventions that happen that happen in Europe. There are conventions that would happen in in the UK, like the conventions here in Australia. I do not want to hear I mean this side of the of the Sapphire and Jade Pearl called the called Planet Earth that a girl has been kidnapped for going to a convention and she's wearing a Captain America uh, cos uh, a very tight fitting Captain America cosplay or for her to dress up like a Mad Max character dress up like a, a character from a cheerleading movie or even Doctor, even just like something with Doctor Strange or Marvel, other Marvel properties, uh, DC, 
anything to do with television, like doc, like Rose Tyler from Doctor Who, and and other such p- pieces of pop culture, be it Western or Eastern pop culture. I don't want to hear about that over here in Australia. And this is where I believe that Tommy Robinson is do has been doing the best job. It's not because he rabble rouses I yeah he, it's not because he beats and beats and beats on a topic. He beats on a topic because it has ramifications for a vast it had for a vast number of women in the in the UK the pathetic little island and I don't want to be reading on Facebook that a group of schoolgirls have been hijacked by men of unknown origin as we all know it is the crescent moon and star mob aka Islam I don't want to be reading about that over here in Australia I don't want to be hearing about that on a on a Lauren Southern thing though she's been banned from the UK thanks very much UK for for not uh, having not allowing this civil conversation of whether Muhammad was gay or Allah is gay besides quite a number of homosexual men do cosplay and some of them may want to cosplay as a Arab because they find the Arab character to be a wonderful more more flamboyant character character to to have and they do like the beard thing and like the like the like the, like the headband head headwear gear like the long flowy like the flowy shirts and that only for them to be criticized and be called Islamophobe because they're dressed up like a Middle Eastern person and what do all Middle Eastern people resemble? The Prophet Muhammad. And with that, the Prophet, they think, oh, he's gay. He's impersonated the Prophet Muhammad. Let's kill him. I don't want to hear that. My fellow cosplayers does not deserve this. I am standing alongside Mr. Robinson for my hobby, for my art, for my homosexual brothers and my sisters of cosplay who don't deserve to get beaten up or sexually assaulted because of the attire that they wear. And from this the arrest on false charges, the charging of false charges, and the pathetic way that it just speedily happened along. Early morning he woke up, mid mid morning he went down there, late morning he was arrested. Midday his name was put on the Court, court documents. Mid afternoon, he had the trial, and by that very night, he was put. He was charged with. He is now serving a 13-month prison term. Who knows what's going to happen to him in prison? And there are a lot of nasty buggers in prison. They don't have to be Muslim. They could be someone else that has a very strong beef with Mr. Robinson and they will attack him. It, people have been saying, oh, the Muslims would get, would get such a huge prize out of this. Not just the Muslims. There are so many people on the one, one side, like the far right, they would call him 
a Jew loving Pupta or gay freak whatever and they would shank him for it they were the far left some far left extremists and they would say oh you're a neo-nazi and and you know what off with his head there are so many people so many people who are who want mr. Robson out of the way and these are people who he used to call friends who he used to align himself with with the EDL all you have to do is look at um, British Britain first the two heads of British first they're serving some time behind bars for, for frivolous things calling out an imam on what does it say in the Quran about uh, beating women they went into a bookshop where they completely sold Islamic text and they said all oh, this supports terrorism They went, to, they went to jail because of that. And there's proof in those documents that such things do occur. But in this video, it's more towards Mr. Robinson. What cosplaying is, it is a beautiful art form. It's a sign of respect for the people who dressed up as the characters, like Carrie Fisher from Star Wars, like Barbara Eden from I Dream of Genie. Halle Berry from the X-Men series, also Catwoman, that was also a beautiful thing. Plus many other female empowered characters. Men would like to dress up as those characters. If like Chung Lee from Chung Lee and, and Gamma from uh, Street Fighter. Beautiful costumes. Beautiful for the person who can carry it off. The Sailor Scouts. The female X-Men, the female, rest of the female Marvel, DC characters, and I just don't want to be hearing about things happening to them or to my homosexual brothers for just wanting to cosplay as someone as a background character from Indiana Jones. And and finally on this topic. Let me say this to the UK government. You can't go after all of us. I am living in Australia. In Australia, we can speak out against people of who are rulers of here in Australia and abroad and besides you don't have any legal precedents to to get a person like me when there are people in Canada when people are in the United States New Zealand other parts of Europe Ireland Iceland Greenland Even in South Amer South America, in, in Asia, and all that stuff, people are condemning you for this. The reason why I'm condemning you for it, for for this thing with Tommy Robinson, is because you're choosing the people who would do harm to your female population and your homosexual population for their love of cosplay. Over the actual, over the women, female cosplayers, or the homosexual cosplayers, everything is on you. You have shown the world that you don't care about the homosexual cosplayers or the female cosplayers. How about the cross-dressing cosplayers for men who are straight? You are attacking the one of the 
fastest growing hobbies on the planet. You have gone after me, you've gone after my best friends who are male, homosexual, female homosexual, female straight and male straight, which virtually covers all of my all my friends. You've gone after them by putting Mr. Robinson in prison. And now I'm taking a stand right here in Australia to tell you this. It is an illegitimate government. All the mayors are illegitimate. And I urge every single cosplayer who is in the UK at this moment, try to get your visas to come here to Australia, work in Australia, live in Australia, and be safe in Australia. Because if anything happens like that over here in Australia, we don't have spineless people willing to go, oh, take us over, please, oh, good sir, please take us over. We will stand and fight for you. We will stand and be counted for you. We will fight for your right to cosplay. Maybe the downfall of all the of the textile industry in the UK may want us maybe like a slap in the face of the government. The leather industry slap. Metalworks slap. Jobs going away. Bam, bam, bam. To the UK government. Just remember, please, please, my fellow cosplayers in the UK, I stand with you. I am cosplay. I stand with my UK cosplaying brothers and sisters. Keep strong, keep fighting. I don't want to hear about any one of you getting hurt. I am Dragon Barrows and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.